Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're tightening up the valve train, so we're gonna set lash, preload, and I'm gonna tell you why. I chose to stick with the 1.6 ratio stamped rocker arms from Ford as opposed to the 1.7s that are typically used with GT40 heads. So, let's get right to it. And here they are in all their glory, the Ford Factory 1.6 stamped steel rocker arms. And here are these beautiful 1.7s by Crane Cams with the roller on them as well. Now, the reason why I'm not using these simply boils down to this. This engine is not designed to run 1.7s. We've got a big enough cam to where we don't need the extra help from a 1.7 rocker. Now, it's also the case that this rocker just won't fit with factory uh, valve covers, so we'd have to modify those or buy new ones, and that's not in the budget. So we're sticking with our 1.6s. Now we're going to set lash, and this also assumes that you are at top dead center on the compression stroke. If you're not sure you are, please see my other video on how to find the compression stroke and top dead center. I'll link it in the end and also in the description. But what I want you to do right now is take a look at this push rod. See how easily it is to spin, how I can move it back and forth. Basically, we need to make sure this doesn't move like that anymore, and that will put us at zero lash. So we're just going to tighten the rocker arm nut up, or the bolt, like this, and we're going to um, use our fingers kind of to kind of um, push this around and basically we just want it to where it's not moving side to side anymore and we uh, just you know if we can spin it a little bit that's okay we're at zero lash we just don't want any uh, movement side to side back and forth now it's time to set our preload and we need to accomplish 20 foot pounds in a quarter half or a full turn preferably a half turn so we're going to get on the exhaust valve right here we've got our torque wrench set at 20. So we're gonna start right here and see how long it takes us before it clicks. So that was about a quarter. I'm gonna back it up. Okay, I would say that was probably three quarters of a turn. So we're, we're within specs there. Let's go to the exhaust. That's a quarter. Another quarter. Okay, that's three quarters again. So we're within specs, we needed a turn or less. I'd prefer a half turn, but hey, what are you gonna do? So we've got these done, and now we're gonna move to cylinder number three, which is right here, do the same thing. And for each cylinder, you're gonna need to rotate the engine 90 degrees. So what I'm doing is I'm using my ratchet as kind of a measuring tool. We're simply going to take our ratchet and move it a quarter turn, which is 90 degrees. Just like that. Because obviously, 9, 18, 27, 360 degrees in a circle. So we just moved it 90 with one quarter of a turn. So we can move on to cylinder number three. And one more tip. Do not prime your uh, oil pump before you set valve lash and then set preload. You don't want to do that on a hydraulic lifter. So that's something that the uh, old guys did with their solid lifters. That is not something you need to do with these. In fact, that'll throw off your measurements. So definitely don't do that. If your motor's been sitting for a while, you're good. The oil's probably bled out a little bit. You just don't want to uh, pump them up using the oil pump. Um, that'll give you uh, false readings and uh, you could be uh, in bad shape if you do that. Um, if you are trying to get to your desired preload, say 20 foot pounds like me, and you do that and it takes more than one rotation, you'll probably need shims. Um, you can get a 30 thousandths shim that usually eliminates a quarter turn or so. If you can't make it up in that shim, you probably have to get uh, different length push rods. So that's all up to the engine builder and something you need to consider though when you're doing this. And just a slightly different view here, I want to show you tightening from the top rather than from the side. So I'm again just spinning the um, push rod and I, you know, I can't move, I don't have much movement there so we know we're at zero. This one, do the same thing, moving it back and forth, but I can still spin it, so we're at zero. It's really that easy. Um, it's not, not too hard. So we're gonna take a wrench again at 20. We're gonna move in quarter inch, or quarter turns. There was one, two. Okay, there we go. That was a little less than three quarters. One, that's a quarter turn. Okay, that was a little over a quarter turn, so we're good there. 
Now we gotta hop over to cylinder number seven. That's our next and firing order. Just need to rotate 90 degrees once again. There we go, that's about a half turn. Again, about a half turn. All right, so I went through all eight cylinders and they all spec'd in at about three quarters of a turn. We didn't need to do any shimming, nothing like that. So I'm very pleased about that. I can finally move on and just basically bolt the rest of this thing up. And that's what's gonna come in the next couple of weeks, maybe a week and a half, we're gonna drop the final video of the car running. And uh, you know, hopefully it'll be, be cool, uh, we will see. But anyways, you can see this process isn't that terrible. It's not intimidating as long as you know the right procedure. But um, it's really that simple. Hopefully it lines up for you just like it did for me. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. It really does help the channel. So have a great day and thanks for watching.